Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? We are back with some Overwatch. We actually didn't think we were going to have Overwatch tonight. I'm pretty sure I told you last night that we were going to have a viewing party. Uh, I had completely forgotten. I had texted and asked and requested that we not be streamed on the official GG Leagues page. The guy got back to me. I didn't know it, so I checked today. Uh, he was like, yeah, no worries. You guys can stream. Um, so we're here. So sorry about that little shift in location, but I'm sure you found us. I'm sure you have our notifications turned on. So easy peasy, you are here. Uh, we are on a three-minute delay, so um, we've got it pulled up on our phones to make sure that we're on top of stuff. Um, but yeah, so we have who are the who are we playing tonight? Uh, Northwestern College. Northwestern College. All oh, right. Wait. I think so. Let Sounds about check. right. I'm pretty sure that's what's I, in the title. So mm -hmm. uh, we do have our nice bingo board over here on over here on this side. You can see. Mm -hmm. Uh, one of our players made that up for us, so we will make sure to check that off for you guys tonight as we go through. Um, I can see that the team is in game. They're just kind of hanging out playing. Um, Larson's keeping track on when the guy adds us back and then yep. makes the lobby and all that good stuff. So, um, Larson, you did tell me something pretty interesting right when we started. Um, well, 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 why don't you walk us through what's going on yeah, here? Yeah, uh, patch just came out like literally a couple hours ago. And let me pull up the patch notes. Um, the big things are May, Reaper, Sigma all got buffed. Um, let me pull them up. Now, it's my personal opinion that not right now because it's obviously just a few hours and teams haven't had time to adjust. However, within probably honestly by Saturday, we'll be seeing the meta, in my opinion, switching over to um, largely Orisa, Sigma, May, Reaper, Bap, Brig. There's a lot of people that are also saying it's not going to really change much that much. I'm personally of the opinion that we were real close to being there anyway, um, and that the little changes were enough. Okay. So, so do we do we prepare for this patch note, or are we prepared for pre-patch note? For the last patch note. Now, none of the individual changes are all that big. Okay. Like, honestly, the biggest change is, I mean probably Zarya's energy draining a little bit faster so her energy level gotcha so, goes down a little so bit faster. once you get once you get up there it starts to, it starts Reaper's to take off gotcha and what was the reaper you said uh reaper's damage been buffed by like good lord as if he well, needs only it about 10 percent. i got you not too terribly much so are you does that make you more nervous going into tonight's tonight's game that we're going to be at a disadvantage because it's not what we prepared for or are you um, less nervous because you know this is kind of what we were already anticipating. I mean, honestly, really neither. It's okay. going to be a coin flip. Just depends just, just on how it how it actually goes mm -hmm, on okay. how which team um figures out how they want to um blah, 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 how each team adapts to it on the fly. Gotcha. Depending on what's played, it's very possible that it just straight up doesn't matter very much. So, Ooh, excuse me. Do you think? Uh, do you think we'll see both teams immediately try and jump on this new patch and capitalize on those on those I, buffs? Or do you think they'll just kind of say, that's cool, they're buffed, but eh, we're just going to rock with what we're going to rock with? I really doubt it. So I went back and checked, and also Alberto was, or simply was one of the ones that checked a lot more in depth than I was. Gotcha. Um, the, he found their Twitch stream with a lot of odds. They've gotcha. been running a lot of Rush Comp, a lot of Ryan Zarya. Um, okay. And I don't really think that the strength of Rush Comp itself is going to be changed too terribly much for him. And for the folks at home, what is Rush Comp? So it centers around Ryan, Zarya, and Lucio. It's basically speed into them, press and hold W, and just do it. Just go, just go crazy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, and we actually talked about that, and our our game plan, at least for the beginning, is to be able to kite these uh, the Rush Comp, the Rush, um, mainly the tanks. Okay kite them around, basically draw them away from their team until they make a mistake, and then you pounce on that. Okay, gotcha. So that's so you think that's what they're going to stick with tonight, and that's I, what you guys are preparing for? Yeah, anytime they were forced off of that comp, they kind of they fell off. They fell off okay. quite a bit. Yeah. Cool. So that'll be that's what we're going to be looking for tonight. Um, granted, of course, that's assuming they don't shift and they don't try and pick up mm -hmm. right into this patch comp, um, right in back into this new meta that we're we're just literally hearing about. Um, so there's no way for us to jump into an old patch, right? I know with nope. League and some other games, they'll say, hey, we know we just released this, but we're going to play on this older one, so you have to play on what's live. Unfortunately, yes. Gotcha. All right. So, over. so we do have the game coming up. We are on Lee Zhong Tower. Tower. What a lovely map, honestly. Now we get to sit and not do anything because we can only spectate one team until they actually get the hero selected. Very nice, very nice. A very nice view. Uh, appreciate the follows, all the follows that we got last night. That was really cool, the other team, to hop in and uh, hang out with us for a bit. Um, 
Guys, if you haven't didn't hear last night in the stream, we do have new merch, exclamation point merch. I already see Zach spamming that for us. Uh, definitely check that out. Jerseys are available, masks are available, t-shirts, hoodies, the whole nine yards. We'll be putting out a lot of new designs coming very, very soon. Um, if you want to alt tab, let's turn off the music here. I, I think I still see that coming on. Perfect. All right. So, so um, we're sticking with basically what we were already running. Gotcha. A um, little bit different than what we ran from last week. We're having the uh, brain just stopped working tracer instead of a Fara here. Or what you normally see in this comp, a... Um, you want to turn that down for me? Yeah. Just go, uh, yeah, that's good there. Perfect. Let me tap back in. All right, so we're kind of sticking with the same comp you said. Um, Ooh, Junkrat's already low. Let's see if we can hit the shot. Unable to finish it. We're putting a good bit of pressure. We're seeing a symmetric comp like we saw last week, teeping directly to point. Gotcha. Do you feel like that comp's viable once you make it on point, or do you think it's it's nice to get him on point, but then having that TP is not super helpful once you're there? So it's a combination of both. Um, obviously, the major usefulness is establishing very early point presence. Yep. However, because it's such a close combat uh, point, Symmetric can very much so be viable. Yeah. Especially if she can get her, her turrets placed in there accordingly and just start frying those down mm -hmm. in those door frames. Yep. Um, making the car wash as I learned it as. Um, yep. I definitely can see her that being well. But I can also see her not being able to get in fast enough and, and not enough people in there. And they, if she just gets targeted, like she's wiped out, and then you kind of lose that advantage you had with TPing in a, on the point. Generally speaking, that's pretty rare. You need really, really good team cohesion for it. Like very, very high level. For sure. Um, we do manage to get the flip over, and looking at ults, we're not particularly close to anything, and I'm going to guess the other team is about similar. Where'd that TP go? Directly behind the, our team. It's sort of splitting both teams up quite a bit, us more than them. And I think we're probably going to see the point flip back over after a solid 35%. It's However, a pretty good, good trade, definitely worth. And the good news is we're going to be coming up on our own ults here. Um, I'm going to be guessing that we're probably going to see a Grav Pulse Bomb here. Um, yeah. If for no other reason than the burn the enemy team's beat. Do you think... Which which DPS characters do you like better on the map? The one we have set up or the one the other team has set up currently? Uh, I, it's really either or. It's because of the comp that you're playing around. Gotcha. The technical ideal comp that we'd be running instead of McCree Tracer would be Sombra Echo or Sombra Tracer. Hmm. Um, Just however, because they can jump in and out a lot easier. Jump in and out a lot easier, and Sombra is actually quite strong with their EMP. For sure. Um, however, building and charging that EMP is something we've been working on, and we've figured that at this point, Ethan's um, tracer is better than his Sombra. Gotcha. Let's see. It's here. A big so rip tire there. Down one here. However, they have better point presence. You're gonna see simply turrets. taking out the turrets, trying to clear that immortality field as well. Tracer's just gonna get away with their life. Oof. It's a big pick there off the Zarya. What predictions are we wanting to see, gamers? Probably just who takes the point. Uh, yeah, who gets point first. We like have that. enough time for that, but also uh, since you guys are on a delay, there's, it's going to be a little bit harder to do anything else. Mm. So the idea here is probably going to be setting up um, Isaac for the high noon here on Throwzone. Uh, we'll also probably pop Briggs Rally pretty early in order to build that extra armor before we can get in. And you're seeing go in. The enemy Ryan's quite low. Going to be taken down here if he can hit a shot, but he just can't quite get it. Ty knocks two off. Make that a third with his primal. Holy cow. I'm dead. I don't have mod status. Well, Zach, we'll mod you in just a second. <laughs> I don't know how you're not modded on your personal. That's kind of clown. But yeah, Ty out there coming in clutch with three environmental kills there with his primal. Holy cow. So I saw you post earlier uh, in the chat that, that, uh, that Monkey's Ty's best character now. Yeah, I, I think as he's gotten to the point where he's relying a lot more in game sense than anything else, um, not just relying on his supports healing him out the wazoo, relying mm -hmm. on his own self. For sure. Winston's become one of his best characters, because that's sort of something you have to do. You can't be as aggro, you can't be as headstrong. Yeah. Ooh, we unfortunately let the fl point flip back. It's going to be even here, down one. I don't think we're going to be able to sustain through a full charge Symmetra Beam here. That's a big, yeah, that's However, a lot, that's a lot of beams. With the Electric Cowboy there, getting nanoed. Electric Cowboy is what they call it. Mm. That's super funny. I've never heard that before. So this is starting up, shaping up quite a bit like last week where we have quite a few good moments. Um, in the first point, how will we lose it? I do feel like there's a very, very good chance that we, it happens pretty much exactly like last week. There you go, Zach. In the next two. You're modded now. Congrats. Let's take a look to see how the comps evolve here. I wouldn't be surprised to see us switch over to a uh, more brawl type comp. 
which would be that Ryan Zarya. Um, that's gonna be mainly up to Ty here, Nodlin being able to decide. Turn it down a bit. No, you're good. You need to be turned up, Corey said. <clears throat> also, I don't hear game. No way. Oh, yeah. Wow. Game is not coming. Give through. us a second. Game was not going through. Why is the game going to that? Hold up. All right. I'm just going to be looking through the Streamlab stream. We're going to be spectating purely Ethan here. Taking out turrets. I can't really see much detail what's going on. He's doing a good job of harassing their backline, especially the Junkrat here. And just applying as much pressure as he can, forcing a little bit of disturbance from the enemy team. Just forcing a little bit of yes, attention taken away. He is going to get taken game. down. As is Isaac on the soldier. However, we do get the point flip. It's going to be even here. We're simply taking out the Lucio. And we're just going to be looking to hold on to point as we can't win this fight. It's currently even. Again, once again, a 3v3. However, Ethan's back. 4v3 for just a moment. And now I can't even see that besides the size of the screen. <laughs> <laughs> you guys should be able to hear game audio now. There we go. And we're uh, going to clean up the fight. Look at that. And yeah, Ty ran over, switched over to the Rhine here. Basically just going to be taken in and they're trying to Rhine death the other team. It should sound like it. Zach, if you want to come help us, I don't know what's going on. Uh, you can click back to Overwatch for now. Um, Switch on over to Ty here. You've got the audio running through the cable output, and that's what the game audio is catching. So we're going to be backing up, so playing a little, bit, a little bit more passively here. While we're just waiting for the enemy team to walk in. They're going to pop the garage door there. Can you hear it on the and that's going to be a big fire strike with the window, or with the lamp being broken. However, Ty decides to run with his hammer out and his shield down at a damage boost to Junkrat. Seems like a good idea. I'm going to have to disagree with that statement. It's kind of a weird champ. I don't know. Maybe yeah, he, maybe he had like a big brain play we just didn't see, you know? Uh, I think he just kind of forgot how much damage that does. It does 240 damage. It's kind of... Kind of hurts. Yeah, just a bit. The enemy team, Northwestern College, is going to finally get the flip over. However, we're going to get 73%. That's a big take on first point. Quite a bit of time. If we win this, first, uh, this next fight pretty quickly here, I think there's a very good chance we close it out. Yeah. Ty's going to be looking for a massive shatter here. However, he's going to get burned down again by that Junkrat pretty quickly. Oh, that was a nice tracer jump. Oh, oh, that was a nice tracer jump. Ethan just doing what he can in order to harass some more and as well as build his pulse bomb. We will get visor up. Who do we think we're going to nano for this fight? Do you think we're going to see a nano, nano shatter? Visor. Nano visor. Okay. Either nano visor or we'll just um, nano the Rhine and run into them. Gotcha. Speaking of the Rhine, he's being a bit wary here. Looking for the fire strike through the window. Needs to protect that lamp with the He's got 93 charge, Good so he definitely charge, could sit there the and trace, fry. Even with the tracer being dead. Yeah, yeah. You likely turn a 4v4 into a 4v2. We do have a lot of ults coming up for this. I think they're mm -hmm. going to try and save this for a closer fight. Try and take them all this out at once. This is last chance, though. Oh, for sure. They have to hit it here. Not quite able to block the shatters that came from the back. And I think that's going to be the fall of the point and the map. Gotcha. So I think the biggest issue here is honestly hesitancy to use ults. Yeah. Um, Trying to wait too long to get in there. Unless I missed something that was a 4v4 with um, a high charge Zarya facing another Zarya. And I couldn't, I d honestly don't remember who the other person was. For I think sure. Lucio. <clears throat> um, and here's going to be Ty's triple kill with the win primal that saved the first point for quite a while. I thought it was lost until I saw this. <laughs> That's a two, nice little two knock. Just getting a nice two. And then he got a... Third knocked off somewhere. Jeez. I think it might have been the Lucio at the That's, very end that there. That was pretty nice. 
Chat, let us know if the audio is coming through. It looks like it is on our side, mm -hmm. so uh, I don't know exactly what the issue is. Um, we should have fixed it by now, so if it's not, let us know. But we can hear what y'all can hear, and I'm pretty sure it's going through. Because, yeah, it's the same audio channel for us, and we can hear it. So it should work for you guys. Hopefully. So, yeah, that was map number one. We will drop to uh, Northwestern, and we will go. What's the next map we're going to go into? So it's going to come off of our uh, map pool, which I can't remember off the top of my head for some reason. Give me just a second. Yes, my dad just texted me. I see GameStop is continuing with the silliness. Yes, it is. Have you seen that lately? Uh, I have not. Oh, the last I saw it was up to 260 again with a high of 320. Oh, back into it, boys. Mm -hmm. Diamond hands. I mean, I'm not purely because I to the moon. I have an issue with I needed to stop it before I started turning it into gambling. But that's a, <laughs> that's a whole other conversation. Stocks I'm probably are, not allowed to talk pretty, into. Stocks are pretty similar. <clears throat> Where's my Google Drive? What am I missing? Oh, boy. There it is. I'm just blind. Nubani, give us a minute, please. Drink break. Nubani, all right. And that's about what I expected from them. So the main reason we're going for Nubani instead of what you would usually expect of the King's Row, um, through the VODs, that seemed to be by far and away the strongest um, map for the MA team. Really? And Numbani is a very strong map for our... Um, Stream broke. No way. What the heck? It says we're live. Hmm. That is not on us, chat. Uh, or it might be. Uh, well, I mean, it shows we're live right here. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Hold up. Oh, it's reconnecting. I think the internet went down. May have happened. Uh-oh, spaghettios. Which means they can't hear anything we're saying, which means... Oh, well. There we go. We should be back up very are soon. Are we back? There. Oh. There it is. There we are, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another scuff stream at CMO Esports because our gear hates us. It's literally it. That's all it is. It's not even the gear. It's, uh... it's the Wi-Fi, the internet. Yep. Come on. Last opened by me. Come on. Give me the... Hello? Oh, yeah. Did you leave your rule book? Here we go. I'm pulling it up. It seemed really loud uh, during the point, and so I just wanted to. I know, but I just. It seemed loud when we were playing, so I just didn't want it to be blaring. Okay, we'll turn it up. <coughs> All right. That three minute delay really kills you on trying to make uh, quick changes. Mm -hmm. All right, so yeah. As far as the map after this, which will be an escort map, which will be either Dorado, Watchpoint, Gibraltar, or Havana. They I'm said gonna Nubani. Guess yeah, new Oh, you're talking about the one, the one after, after that. Okay, yeah. third game. The one gotcha, after gotcha. that, I'm gonna guess honestly, no matter who wins this next one, whoever gets to choose will probably be Dorado. Um, either Dorado or Gibral Gibraltar. Is no. Dorado the one where it looks like the the Wild West? And you come out of mm -hmm. the diner. That's yep. a good one. Uh, and then third points inside. Yeah. So, a lot of people don't like Havana. I'm one of them. I don't know. It just feels like not a fun map to play. It's it's not bad. Reverse sweep inbound. All right, all right. That's ready to see it. Not how reverse sweeps work, Alberto. Stinky boy. I mean, if we're down and down, and then we come up and up. Yeah, but we need to be down too. It's the best. Yeah, we gotta go down. You guys gotta throw this game for us to get a reverse sweep. Um, yeah, obviously. I'm gonna be guessing that we'll see a very similar comp. So j just lose, Alberto. Easy, uh, easy. Yeah, Winston, Zarya. Pretty much exactly what you'd expect in the number Gia from Eclipse Chandler. Gotcha. We all have our jobs to do. So do you think we put ourselves at an advantage having two hit scan rather than having uh, a flex? So we're, it's the last... Excluding the weird Genji meta we had for a while. Um, it, it's sort of weird. So it used to be your two hit scan roll or DPS rolls used to be hit scan and projectile. Mm -hmm. Eventually a lot of projectile heroes just started getting worse and worse and uh, hit scan heroes started getting stronger and stronger, which yeah. switched over the terminology from projectile to flex DPS. Um, as such, running the double hit scan. Ooh, we're running the echo. Interesting. We're finally running the mainline comp here. So why is echo, why is echo a better pick here? Echo's it, just it, ridiculously strong. She does ridiculous amounts of damage from far away. Gotcha. Uh, her right click does 195 damage if you land all the bombs. That's they explode a lot. On her. And you can't get out. You can't get away from them. They're sticky bombs. <laughs> they see them running through the underground. I, in a second, after a fighter during the halfway point, I can explain the thinking behind this. Gotcha. Ooh, simply going That's down. That's a quick pig. Yeah, they need to switch it up, not go through the inside there. Go ahead and watch Ty here on the and see if he can't get out. Nine health, Ooh, not quite. Not. That, Hades took both tanks on that. 
That's so, big picks off that soldier. That's a really, really, really good pick on the Mercy there, provided that Ethan can get out. It's potential. There is a potential that they might be able to reset here before the Mercy can get back. If they push hard, they'll be down Ethan for just a bit. Yeah. However, being down Ethan is nowhere near as big of a problem as being down a Mercy yeah. oh, if they can sure. go get this quickly. So we're going to go top rafters this time. This is a bit of a weird choice against the Sigma. Shots, yeah. Yeah. You're going to see Ty going on the Ash here, which is... Oh, missed the ledge. Missing the ledge. And now completely without support. Yes. Cut off from his team. He's waiting for his jump again. He's, gonna, he's got his jump back up. He's going to go try and take out this Ryan. He just gets smoked by the, mm -hmm. the Ash. Yeah, jumping over through that long line, as long line of sight, especially directly at the Ash. You're just gives a lot of time. Gives a lot, lot of, of time to just pop some shots. Mm -hmm. So the main the main line that um, Ty and I designed for this was to have your four core um, heroes, which would be your supports and your um, your supports plus Zarya and Tracer, gotcha. play together. Whereas your Winston and Echo, now that they've switched over to the Kree, but your yeah. Winston and Echo come from an alter alternate angle. Gotcha. It's sort of a pincer movement. Gotcha. And that didn't go well for us. Not necessarily, not the way that we drew it up. Gotcha. They're playing a little bit different than you normally see. You usually see people playing directly above where Simply is right now. Mm -hmm. Pretty much the entire team is holding real close there. Um, but they're playing a bit more split. Switch on over to Ty's point of view here. He's see if Ty can't get this pick on the Mercy. Get One. Get blasted by the, the by the soldier with visor through a window. Mm -hmm. Through a garage door, so now you guys call it. So that's a good stick on the Sigma. Not gonna, not gonna not quite gonna be able to do anything. He's gonna be healed back up real quickly. He needs to get out or die. One of the two. Reset a test fossil and get ready for the last push here. Last full push that we'll likely have. Are we winning, son? I'm trying, Dad. I'm dead. Um, not a big fan of using the pulse there. Generally speaking, um, you're gonna be wanting the pulse for the grab here. Gotcha. Um, even with the Baptiste, which while he can press E and sort of nullify So you mean you pulse it, but, into the grab that mm -hmm. we throw? Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Which would be. I can't remember if it's 300 or 350. I can't remember if they rebuffed it. But it hits a Damage lot for everybody. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Rather than just one person. And that person was full health. <laughs> so I don't even think a pulse bomb would kill a Sigma regardless. No, not at, at full, full health. health. Right, so. <laughs> and there's a lot of chaos going on. There's not a lot of cohesion really coming through from Simo here. For sure. Um, a lot of just sort of... I go, you go, yeah, they go. Just a lot of split play. Which as we wait quietly. <laughs> a little bit of silence in the back. Giving ourselves a yeah. last Switching second effort to, the to Ryan get here. here. Honestly, I probably would have liked to see the Ryan switch probably about a minute and a half ago. Um, right around the time that you switch over the um, screen. Now you're just going to have to run it up mid or through to low, which I'd rather mid here, but... So we're hoping for a couple ticks at least, give them something they have to aim Literally for. Literally just one is better than nothing. All we want right now, yep. Sure. It's a good grab on the Reinhardt, sticking him inside that room. We will see the immortality field go up. That will Almost go down. Get the tick. We need to get on the point. We need to touch the point though. Yeah, we need to stay on, stay on point. Got a tick, we get a tick, there we go. That is one tick, that's huge. And they're not, con you notice they're not, you notice they're not this contesting is, on point. They're letting us take, going on here? they're letting us stand on point. That'll be a Ryan facing a Zenyatta off. Yeah, that was a bit strange. Ana's going to do all he can to heal. We will get one tick. That looks like we're going to have the ball come in. The ball was really not touch in time. Sort of highlights what I was saying with probably a little bit of split play. Not quite much cohesion there. Yeah, for sure. After the initial pincer move you kind of Stole. talked about, I think mm -hmm. after we switched off, we Zero. definitely should just, all right, Zero. we need to one push Zero. in, Zero. especially with these, with these tick points is, you only have to win one team fight. There's just mm. not enough time in the day for you to stagger in and mm -hmm. then and then recontest. Yeah, once once you, you make the play, if you have decent numbers, that's that the tick, you know. And that's going to be the issue here and their biggest problem on defense here is you pretty much have to be perfect. You can't make You a cannot lose a team fight. Minutes. Exactly, exactly. It's not even really losing a team fight. You can't even go you know, down. You can't go down a single player because they can regroup, soft disengage yep. yeah, for a second, yeah. get all their abilities your back players and are just still, run yeah, into yeah, you. Yeah, 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 for sure. I'm going to be guessing we're probably, honestly, I could see a Bastion comp coming through here. Really? Urissa Sigma, Bastion, maybe McCree. Hmm. I could see that happening, although with us playing the Rhine and the... All right, we're just going for a normal Rhine Zarya. Probably McCree Tracer, if I had to guess. McCree, and yeah, here I mean, comes we, the Tracer. We quite literally cannot give up a single, a, a single tick 
on the point. You can give up a tick, but we have to... Tick plus distance, right? Because mm -hmm. it, it, it'll count how far you went into that second yep. tick. 57.2%, and we're getting the Ash. We're going for a lot more long-range damage here. <laughs> or medium range, but in this map, in the context of this map, long range. Yeah. So we definitely saw we definitely saw them. that Ash go well, um, sitting on that far side of the map, not even going on down to the point, just literally just frying the shots down as, as fast as they could. So um, we got we got to see Simo clutch it out. They gotta they gotta go a solid four sort of, minutes. I think they're just gonna be running a trick on the point. Yeah, I mean, no, never mind. It looks like they were. With how little low. they need to touch, you know, they're not worried about low. capping a whole point. Um, hmm. Chandler needs to get out of line instead of that Ash now. They're gonna have the Ash set up on the opposite high ground. Ty's gonna be getting really, really low. So he'll back up. And the Ryan's gonna be picked pretty early here, which is always good. The biggest issue running against their comp here is pretty obviously designed around the Grab Dragon. Yeah. And they can wait for the very last fight. If and they all have they have to, to do is win one fight. Win one. And with the Grab Dragon, if you can somehow force out the mortality or break it along the Dragon, yeah, it's over. Yeah. There's nothing you can do. So, uh, realistically, how many sides does Simo, how many fights does Simo have to win in order to actually clutch out three minutes? Uh, Probably four. Four now. big fights in order to clutch. Three to so four, depending on how fast they One going. a minute, and then overtime. Right? Yep. Ooh, really good pin. Not, a good, not a good shatter. shatter. He thought he had him pinned still. Unlucky. Need to just back away from the window. Yeah, don't don't pick don't, uh, don't pick a garage door. Good fire strike. I think she had bubble up though, so it's gonna definitely charge that Zarya pretty heavily. Yeah, just dropping down on the point. He's sure got a good amount of health. Down. He's already back to full health. We like to see that. We are down our Ash here, and potentially more in a second. Arana being forced out. We have no heals from Arana for quite a bit of time here. Oh, Ryan taking out there, Ryan. However, it's going to be... Ryan will take the Hanzo with him, too. That's a good trade. And if we're starting to stabilize, it looks like the Zarya won. I'm Ty's guessing. chasing the Don't Zarya. Charge her. Don't charge her. Oh! oh, wait. oh. Did that she was, go off? He got a boop. <laughs> Ty gets a boot. Ty goes for 3k with a boot. That's spicy. Hey, hey, Ty, don't you pretend you did that on purpose. I know you did. I'm it. not gonna front. Looked like a bad play. Got lucky with the with the knockup. And then but also he saved himself. Cause had he gone a little right or a little left, I think he would have blown through the gate and gone off the map. I fully expected him to see red there and just go off. The yeah, map. yeah. I definitely thought he was just toast and just kind of missed. But so this is good. We're, I'm we glad it panned out. That's all at this point, we're only gonna have to win two proper fights here. Yeah. And then the last. So fight. we'll just draw, right? We won't have to go overtime. Hopefully. Gotcha. However, they're starting. With, or we're starting. No, they're starting. To now, I mean, I guess technically we could full hold them here, and. uh and we don't have. Ty does take down the immortality the field. That will be the fight, though. Yeah, that'll looks be. Like. Nice. Not sure what happened to our immortality field, or if our back just got picked early. I wasn't paying enough attention. But that is going to be the map. GG's map number two. All right, and let me real quick. Larson has to go tell Ty that there's no shot he did that on purpose. Uh, I have to go play. Oh, you're playing? Oh, boy. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Zach, what are you doing? What? Come cast. Yeah. No, uh, Alberto. Oh, Alberto. Oh, we get a, we get a guest yep. caster today, ladies and gentlemen. Alberto's gonna come out and hang out with us. He's gonna come cast with me. Um, I'm gonna take off Larson's tag. Let's see, Zach, this one. Boop, boop, boop. All right, all right. What's up? What's up? Welcome Gamers to it, and goons. ladies and gentlemen. This is the man, the myth, the man behind all of our social media oh, yeah. pages. You can put the headset on, you know, get oh, comfy, yeah. get into it, yeah. you know, like you're like a true caster. Really? Oh yeah. Now you now you look pro. You're pro level right now. Nice. Perfect. All right. Ready to watch and practice as free work entertainment. I'm dead. <laughs> all right. So how, tell us about that game. How'd you feel? Yikes. Yikes. Game. Little yikes. All yeah, right. It's happens so we try to run the double bubble there uh, it's really effective on nubani uh like larson probably said but thing is um ty can never really jump on their ash mercy that was on the top right on the yeah. high ground yep every time we would try that uh i could either uh, never get through the choke on top um and he can't really effectively kill those two uh especially with um that Mercy Pocket. So yeah, they can get away yeah. just so fast. So ha him chasing her down. We saw her a couple of times where mm. he would jump up, either miss the ledge, get up there, and she just jump off. And yeah. then he's, you know, it's putting himself in a worse position down yeah. on on the point. Exactly. And so um, that's definitely tough to see. Um, going into map number three, 
Uh, I think they said. What, I think what, what Matt Larson said a map. I can. Check. He thinks we'll be playing on. He's pretty pretty comfortable in saying. Uh, but yeah, so I mean, so we're down two bat two zero. Uh, this is in fact the escort next. So an escort either, map. Uh, Dorado, Gibraltar. Uh, Dorado's Dorado. Yeah, Havana. Dorado's definitely the map they said that we would go for. Oh, yeah. Um. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I mean, we're down 0-2. This is where the reverse sweep comes in. Oh yeah, you had to set you had to set it up. Larson's mm -hmm. gonna sub in. Uh, he's gonna go hopefully capitalize that for us and and, and uh, bring on the reverse sweep. We'd love to see it. We do have uh, this bingo board that we mentioned, and so we're gonna take a little peek see at this bad boy. Um, see if we've got any nice check marks off of that. Uh, let me make it a little bit bigger so I can read because I got my old man glasses on. All right, so we got a widow duel, uh, a game pause. We did hit a ball stall. Uh, we had that on the first point. Let me get a little copy, a little paste. All right, we're gonna drop this bad boy here. No BM just yet. No BM. That's nice. Uh, dive comp. We haven't. You guys have been running um, ball, so or double bubble. Yeah, we haven't. No, really no dive comp. Been running dive. That's more like uh, uh, Winston. Yeah. Diva, yeah. Winston so ball. Sombra gets played. Haven't had a Sombra. Haven't had a solo shatter. Uh, Flank Yada, Shatter Flank Yada. Block. We did have a Shatter Blocked. Yeah. Uh, Ty did Shatter mm. into a Shield. A Woo in Match Chat? Uh, mm. You guys should have told me. I would have done it. I'm dead. Sim gets played. They played a Sim. They did have a Sim. Yep. They had the one on the Dirty, salty sim. very first point. Or very first game. Uh, Lucio Double Boop. Have not seen that. One Man EMP. We haven't had a Sombra, no. so we don't see that. Raid Boss. No. We did see Double Bubble. You guys played yeah, that. Double, That's Double Bubble. King's Row, we're not playing King's Row. That's the last map we want to play. Literally. Uh, Rush Comp, let's see. They played... They played Rush Comp. They did play Rush yeah. Comp. So we got that. Okay. Uh, we haven't seen a Far Mercy, haven't seen a Widow Duel, Gold Border Account. We can check that pretty easily. Yeah. We'll check that in a second. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's all we've got so far. Mm -hmm. So we're really close uh, on, on this nice little up and down vertical uh, bingo. So a 3-0 map score. Um... What kind of map do we... Let's see. We have to see that... We have to see that on... Oh, Hanamura. Hanamura? Okay. So we... Weird. I thought we asked for... He told me Dorado, I swear. It's 2CP next. Really? Actually, Escort. Never mind. It's Assault. It's Assault. Okay. Or, or is it... Hanamura's a 2CP map. Yeah. Hanamura so it's, it must be 2CP. All right. I'm, I thought 2CP was last. I think but. it... Yeah, I don't know. Usually, yeah. I don't know. I don't run these, so there you go. Yep. So we are on Hanamura. We are not on Dorado. Sad. Sadage. It is Sadge. But uh, looking for this, what what do you think Simo needs to do in order to capitalize in this game? Oh, we really need to contest their DPS because their DPS are just taking better angles than ours and not getting contested as well Okay. as ours are. Um just for example, that new Bonnie map that Ash literally sleeping up top there shooting yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. For sure. All right. We've got it ready to go. Uh, I can run the mouse. All right. Looking at team comp. So we are going to see Ryan Ori Orissa, a Reaper Sim, um, and then Lucio Ana. So w with this comp, what 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 are we, what are we gonna plan for? What is the the mentality we're pushing with? I'm assuming they're gonna TP point or maybe top oh left. Okay. Um, I'm kind of confused about the Orisa. Um, I'm not sure if Arson is gonna want the rest of his team to TP on point and him sit just main in the door. And just okay. Spam. They, they can focus on Arisa, but if they do, they're just wasting time on yeah, point. Yeah, 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 for sure. That's he's pulling he's pulling away attention right. for at least one person. Um, the Reaper makes sense to me. This map is so cut like condensed. But, yeah, condensed and and clustered that if you get in anywhere behind the team, oh, you're just going nuts. Eyes throwing. I can already hear Larson coming. Uh, okay. And I see why we have Overwatch play in the arena by themselves because yeah. good lord. Oh, um, already taking this but we point. already take point. They push May off the back. We did see that TP come in a little late. Um, half the team took it. May walled they off. We broke the wall coming. and jumped in through that TP. Huge purple coming out from the enemy on us. There is, um, that May that May is sweating trying to stay yeah. alive. Uh, using all of her abilities, she will go down. 
The best caster is there now. Yee. Oh, yeah. That's nice. That's nice. And for Mystic the Hottie in chat. <laughs> All right. So we will take first point very convincingly. Almost no like no deaths. Yeah. Like, we killed, I think, what, the maybe the May and a, a couple other pigs. But realistically, we didn't. Uh, they just kind of gave up once we TP'd onto point so consistently. So, um, Nugget's playing the Brig. Usually I see uh, Eclipse, uh, aka Jammer, on Brig. But right now he's playing the Ana, which is. I really like this third person view. It really lets us see a little bit more of what's going on around them rather yeah. than just like right in their mouth. Yeah, it is hard to pass. Uh, where's, where's my man? Where's my man? He's going to switch. Okay. He's probably going to switch rather than to just the, dying. The Zarya. Gotcha. All right, let's see here. I wouldn't be surprised. Yep. Oh, I just heard him. And he's hollering, <laughs> chat. I think a big issue we also had uh, in our two past matches was uh, comms were really quiet. And they, really? They're never quiet. It was honestly awkward. It was like going to uh, the cool kids table. And you're, uh, and and you're like, you don't want to say nothing lame. It's yeah. like you're like trying to just like watch. Ah, uh, yeah. no, nah, we need, we need, we need, we need up here. We right. need those comms. I, I get that. So definitely need to just get hollering. I don't know what whatever it takes. For her. Uh, unless someone gets got picked. I'm, uh, maybe the Ana looks like she just came from spawn. Yeah. Larson's already up here, so he was the one they were waiting on. He switched off to Zarya. We now have the Ryan's are pushing in. Larson charging up that uh that bubble charge for himself. They need to be really careful going through this choke right here. The May's gonna wall them off. Yeah, the May the May will blizzard in that. The May will catch out Larson. Larson will get definitely. Oh man, he makes that with 90 health. No healers though. We did lose. Did down both supports. They will chase us on that. That was a huge five-person May wall. Mm -hmm. um, that's a really big pick. Honestly, from them. I think they should switch back to the sim and just TP on point. They took them unexpected the first time. And I th yeah, I definitely think their fight was uh, really so instant that the team right. wasn't ready for it. Um, I think when they f they slowly walk in, that that team can definitely plan around that and kind of like as long as they don't have to fight all six at once, they do a really good job of, of defending this. So. I, I don't disagree. I definitely think the the sim play could be a thing. Um, although once they've seen it once, they might uh, they might be less than likely to fall for it twice. Um, this May is playing really aggressively with her walls. I really like that. Um, you know, she got cut out on the first point, but we do see the Zar go, the uh, Ryan go down. We do see the Ana is low. Um, the rest of our DPS and Larson just trying to stay alive in this top point. Um, do you think it's do you think this is the best entry on this point? Um, we've tried it twice now and haven't yeah. seen it have success. Do you think it's time to switch up, or do you yeah. think this is still the better way? I think they really should start Already switching up. Uh, it's the issue we had on Nubani, it's just kind of hitting your head at a brick wall. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, you can try it twice, but third Good time right. is the charm and go somewhere else. For sure. So we do see that Hanzo up on the left side of the map with the with the with the, pocket. With the uh, mercy pocket. Yeah, that's got to be annoying. They're getting close to ults. I just grab. Um, we do have four ults. Larson's about a quarter of the way there, and uh, I think we just saw the high noon pop. I'm not really sure why we popped it when we weren't fighting, um, but high noon's not a convincing ult in my opinion. So we do see a big grab come out and a dragon. That's gonna super duper hurt. Yeah, not. They got, we did see get out. Um, I don't think the Reapers are Not really done. being fully utilized here on the second point. For sure. I definitely think uh, some more TP plays, getting in back lines and going for support picks is what mm -hmm. the, the the Reapers kind of built for. Um, he does have Death Blossom, and so I, I think he may be waiting too long for that. Even if you Death Blossom and you pull two or even pull one, it could be enough of a key to get in through that. Um, we do see the TP come out that you mentioned earlier. I like um, this. I do like this. I definitely think this Look took them. them. Yeah, see, they're set up top oh, left. That's a big slept. slip on the sleep on the uh, Reinhardt. Yeah, they're literally going to take at least one tick off this. I think they're going to go two before. All right, so they're contested at two. I want to see. I'm, I'm literally camping on this Rhine. Uh, we're not going to see that. We're not going to see the Reaper test. Uh, we're not going to see Death Blossom. We're not going to see. We are going to see the May ult. We are going to see the Shatter. Larson's going to dive under point, trying to stay alive. The Hanzo is going to chase him. He will get bursted down. The Sim will go down. Brig will go down. I don't think we have anybody left uh, on point. My team still needs they could have won that fight, but they didn't get to use ults first. I, I honestly think you took them by enough surprise. I think we got greedy going for that second tick. Mm -hmm. I think as soon as they drop, we just start frying them. You drop ults, you pop ults. Um, I definitely think that's the hardest part about this game, and so I can't, I can't just start blaming because I definitely think 
knowing when to use your ult and when not to use your ult is, so, is super tough. They do have time on the map, so it's not like, shoot, we just wasted our entire potential. We still have another approach, maybe even a second um, because of that overtime. But um, I'm always a fan of if you can get a couple picks, that could be a, a huge difference on this map. We do see Larson as the only one only one taking uh, the TP in. They break it before then. Larson will fry the Hanzo. Literally cannot kill the Hanzo fast enough. He will get smat. He will get pinned, and he will die to that. Uh, we do see Brigida still trying to contest point, going for that Mercy. If he can stagger the Mercy, that could be a big entrance for his team in an overtime position. Um, he knows he's got to take somebody out with him. He will go down to the Hanzo before he makes it back to point. Um... Yeah, I really think we're just not seeing the pull of ults as we should have. Um, I think a lot of those, I think we had a really good opportunity with Grav, a really good opportunity for Simul, um, especially with that Death Blossom. He was at the front door, all he had to do was ghost in and pop it. Um, I definitely think that's where we're uh, being too lenient on pulling those or too like, oh no, we should have, uh, you know, we should have done this or waited to get a bigger kill. Right. Even, even one person's a big pick. This May, on the other hand, one person. Yeah. Pops or Blizzard. I, I lost some VODs at this game and their main is honestly the That's so unlucky. So tie with a double tie with a double charge, but he will get he will get shattered out of it into the door frame to stop the push. Uh, so we will take the first point and we will have one tick into the second. It's better than nothing. It is better than nothing. So that does give us um, at least past the first point, which in my opinion is really, really hard to hold. Um, like we said earlier, you give up one fight, there goes your point. Yeah. Um, and so we do have a little bit of grace period on that backside for at least one tick, and then I guess sixty-three percent into the next tick, right? Right. So, uh, what do you what do you hope to see coming into this next round? What do we have to do in order to pull this out? Um, I really expect them to run the sim, so I really want to see a closer hold to point instead of that uh, normal gate. Yeah, uh, so, um, so the McCree here is gonna help. So if they do come to point, uh, he's got that flashbang. He's got that high damage. He's also running that junk rack um, on a left I I'm a big That's fan of the junk rack pick, honestly. Ooh, yeah. I uh I'm I'm more of a flex DPS player back when I played, and so this was my favorite part of this map was playing May and just walling oh, off yeah, whoever came nice. through and then just frying them. Same thing with Junkrat though is lobbing shots over the over the window through the door. You put a trap down on the door and you just start just fragging the door. Um, I definitely feel that. Um, honestly, more concerned with the hit scan. He's I and to me, I feel like it's okay from this distance. And as soon as you get collapsed on though, I feel like I would much rather have. My pers myself personally on a May, a Tracer, or a Junkrat to where I can get in and out of that point and continue to recontest because McCree kind of gets stuck. Yeah. If I can't shoot you fast enough to kill you, I lose and then you got the point. Right. So. Looks like the enemy team is running the same comp with the uh, Ash, Hanzo. So they just went for a double hit scan. That I think they're just gonna they're gonna bank on on just poking us down faster than we can. We will see that Mercy Pocket on the Ash up top. Nice, you do see good that pick. is a huge pick oh, uh, for, for our McCree. They're getting that res off though. Hopefully we can still punish that Ash. We did not punish the, the res quick enough, but we do have the Baptiste sitting up high. I like, not I like being contested hold. here yet. Yeah, focus on our Arisa. We need some healing. That Hanzo's taking that top right. I do like, I do hear the calls to set up on point. Um, the is coming right behind them though. This is, yeah. He does get a sleep, does get an anti, okay. does get a pick. They won't give up a point quite yet. Larson is looking not great. He will get charged. He will probably die to this. Larson, yeah, Larson will go down. Larson ate a nade right before yeah, he got the nano. That's so he super the unlucky. We got an Ana versus Ana fight in here, but the Zarya is gonna come oh, ruin Zarya's their fun. Cheating. Come on, hey, hey, hey! Ana versus Ana fight. Let let well, let, let him play. Let is him play. BM? I don't think it's BM. I think she's just playing, but that's unlucky. Uh, Simu cannot recontest that point. It's so far away. Um, that's what. Honestly, it's not so much that just like. Because we're on point, it's easier for us to hold. It. It's literally just, it's so freaking far away. Oh, yeah. You just can't, you're not fast yeah. enough to get back and even do anything about it. So, if we're going to. Yeah, hard to get yeah. It back. Even, I mean, even with, with speedy boys like Echo or Trace or any of those, it's still a really far away. So, we are going to see Simo hold this upper left door, um, but we are going to see their DPS climb in through the middle, through those windows, um, which is going to cause a super big ruckus. We will see Ty get a pick. On the Zarya before going down, he will get charged. He will make it out of the out of the shatter. Our DPS really need to start contesting theirs. They're just taking those off angles and they're not really paying attention. Yeah. They are spamming down those tanks, but 
if those DPS, a DPS, they're just them, poking in the back. Shots, just yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter for sure. Out of the game. I honestly think at this point, just to respond to hit skin DPS, they're gonna have to do something divey, or they're gonna have to just hit skin back and hope they're better. Um, I definitely feel that because you feel so helpful with the Junkrat, but with that Hanzo and that Ash just absolutely poking you in the back, you just can't like you have to respond to that because of how much damage they're dealing here. Ty's doing his best to keep his shield on that side while Larson focuses down the hallway. Um, but at, at free picks are free picks. That's still taking down shield oh, on your damage. Mess up the Bob there, trying to force uh, attention onto the point. The Bob gets pushed down and slept. That's a huge. That's a huge position. Ty's shield is about to break. He's gonna have to shatter here, hopefully, to stop him from pushing. I would like to see a shatter. Here. Please shatter. Please shatter. That, there's literally free though. Free yeah. shatter. Oh, he's going oh. to get charged. That was the enemy shatter. Enemy shatter. Ty saves the shatter. I don't hate the Ty saves the shatter, but I don't love yeah. it. It could have easily gone. It could have gone south. Yeah, I agree. When he charged, had he not turned well enough and had Larson not been able to pick up off that, I think that could have been really bad. Um, we we live to see another fight. Um, like Larson mentioned in the last in the last match or last game. Uh, basically, it's about a fight a minute that you have to survive. Uh, basically, we can go a, a whole tick, but I would be surprised if you, when you go one tick, you almost always go two. Um, and so, hopefully, we can keep it keep it close and um, consistently push them, not even letting them get on site like we just saw. Minimally, if they do, we need to start being a lot more frequent with those ults. Um, forcing down men now. Almost, almost five people have ults. Five people are less than twenty. percent That's a huge ult and an anti. We love to see that. And he got, and we wasted nano. Larson or Z uh, Ty is going for the Zarya. Z or Zarya's half health outside. Not a big charge. Going gonna see the res. Ty's. They are gonna get the res off. That's super unlucky. Uh, that was a great play. But unlucky they got the res. Um, we will see the back go down because of that behind that. That is a nano Dorissa. I don't think Arissa is gonna have enough going for it. They will get picked there. If they want any chance, yeah, that's off it now. Hopefully he gets six in a good world. Okay, he gets the Zarya. One which is who's really on point. Useful. The Deadeye looks promising. That's a good Deadeye. Huge Deadeye. Huge! That's huge! And he flashes. And he gets the Rhine. Oh my god. Frozen absolutely came in and clutched that out. Let's go. Holy. That literally was what you had to do in order to keep that point alive. 100%. Oh, get the Anna stagger? Oh my they god. They switched off to the ball instead of the reset. I think Larson wanted to make sure you could contest point yeah. there. Um, I don't geez. hate it, but I'm not sure how. I don't know. Now that we have time, I think we I think yeah. we switch. But I don't know. I think uh, he's going to be able to contest the DPS a lot more than I agree. Are. I agree. He also switched to a Zen, which I'm not really feeling good about. I haven't seen too much of Eclipse Zen, but against their comp, the Hanzo, the Ash, yeah. the Ash Pocket, that's going to be... Uh, You've got to hit your shots. you got to hit your shots. Especially with the uh, the no shield from the braid that we we saw originally. Ash is sitting down mid on under bridge, spamming. We do. I mean, we do see Zenyatta just absolutely. Yeah, I think we're gonna see a big. No, we don't have a bat. We don't nope. have a trans. Nope. I think that's good. Yep. Yep. Unlucky. That was just a good pinch. Um, that's honestly my <laughs> least favorite thing about Overwatch TCP is uh, well, not only that, it's just like. One fight, you're done. Yeah. You know, and that's Snowball. not even not even in two CP. That's just in anything is, you give up an entire point just on one fight. You know, that's unlike any game. That's not really a, a thing. Um, similarly in league, I guess you could consider. But man, that was this. I mean, the same thing though is that was a whole point there. And then the second time we did it, they did it up on top, and they and they took they capped the point on that. So. Right. Um. So I do think that is three games. That right, that will be an 3 We will not see the reverse sweep, un 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 uh, reverse unfortunately. Sweep. We can finish out our uh, bingo card, though. Check this bad boy out. See how we're looking. Um, let me get a little alt tab. Full hold on 2CP. We did not see that. 3-0 map score. Uh, saw 3-0 games. Is map score is in on one map, or is that yeah, is that total? A map 3-0 uh, would be like... Um, Hybrid, so like King's Row. Uh, we didn't even play that. Yeah. That's tough. Um, did not see the raid boss. Did not see raid boss. No Uwus in chat. No, no Lucio. Do double bop. I don't think we had anything else. Yeah. Um, unlucky. Unlucky for us. Right. Unlucky for the team. Um, did not get a bingo. We'll, we'll get one one of these days. Um, but we appreciate you guys hanging out. 
Um, good job to the uh, the Overwatch team. Good job to the opposing team. Uh, great good game, uh, Northwestern. Um, we got a lot to work on, especially oh, yeah. with this new patch coming out. Mm -hmm. um, what would you say is something we need to focus on going into this next game? Uh, we need to stop being hesitant and take those off angles because I feel like we like playing together, which okay. isn't a bad thing, but on maps like these where – the bridge and right side and down mid is all possible angles. Yeah. We're not really looking towards those angles to... Spreading out. Yeah, spread sure. out, take opportunity. Yeah. I definitely think uh, we saw a little bit of ult holding. Mm -hmm. I mean, at the end of the day, you're going to get it back, right? Mm -hmm. um, but it can definitely make or break fights. As we saw with that other team, they threw two ults at us at once and just... Mm -hmm. There was the yeah. point. There was the point. Um, and so definitely maybe um, getting less greedy with that and just mm -hmm. hey you know what i could get a pick here boom here's my ult you right. know and then you know i'm already working towards building that back up but definitely good things to work on overall um next week we, we come back stronger we right. got practice coming up soon always and so i um, always practicing always getting better you guys are climbing in ranks though oh um, yeah I, I, I mean, you guys are blasting the chat every night hey <laughs> who's playing hey who's playing i, I, lo I love to see it. i mean it's a great thing yeah um you guys obviously playing ranked is huge um, playing as a team is awesome. So, yeah, I definitely want to see you guys continue to grow that. Um, but, yeah, overall, good games to them. GG. Uh, appreciate you hopping on, oh, casting yeah, for no us, doubt. getting a little There's sub. A we, got, we got a little little action sh switch oh, up yeah. here, so perfect. Um, I assume next game, Thursday, mm -hmm. same bat time, same bat channel. Yes, sir. Awesome. So, uh, Doug, with you, do you want us to sing right now? Do you know the lyrics? I don't know that song. It's like... Um, my friend just got down. I I revived him and not heading southbound. Oh, um, <laughs> yeah. uh, it's the uh, American boy. Yeah, American okay. boy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like to play Fortnite. Get yeah. down. Ten kills on the board right, right now. now. Just, just killed down to a town. I don't know name, but yeah, that's a that's a good song. I don't know it. Uh, we did. We hey, we did hit the uh, Fortnite dance goal. We did hit the Fortnite you, dance goal last night. Doing it. Honestly, I, here's the thing. I will do it. I 100 percent, uh, no doubt, I will do it. <laughs> I think okay. because the stream is on delay mm -hmm. and because it's we're ending right now kind mm -hmm. of early than we thought, we should do it on like a big stream big night. Stream. Like big so stream Rocket night. League basically. Like that or like I will save it for a playoffs when we have like 150 people. Okay. And then we'll just go sicko mode, right? Do you, like I'm a, I will I don't know that's Do you want to burn 50,000 points? Do Wait, you want to burn bingo? Uh, I think they're asking for us to look at bingo. Bingo baby. Pokecrafting seems to think we got a bingo. Uh, Pokey, I don't... No, map total? You mean the 3-0? Does you mean that we lost the game 3-0, so that counts? Or do you mean... I mean, technically it doesn't count because it's like, uh... That's for like a hybrid map, so like King's Row, where you get all three points. Yeah. But... But, like I said, I will... I will... I think with it being 50,000 channel points... Here's an uwu in chat. Um, oh, bingo. Oh, oh. bingo. No, wait, no, it's I, not. It's not. Ooh, it's chat doesn't even make a bingo. Yeah, it's a different. Uh, but I think saving the Fortnite dance montage mm -hmm. for a big stream makes more sense. It's fifty thousand points. I want to make sure everybody who supported mm -hmm. is there. They they know ahead of time. So we will. We we did hit that last night. We didn't talk about it. Oh, we yeah. will push that into a big boy stream. Probably in playoffs. Um, or one of the events. Mm -hmm. Well, I I I will let you know ahead of time. I'll practice. Uh, I might even come in a Fortnite cosplay. That's what I dressed up as. I, I came in that as Halloween, so I, I have it ready. We'll get Corey in there as well. Maybe even Zach. Oh yeah. Um, we'll, the we'll, gang. We'll, yeah, we'll figure it out for sure. We'll we'll get you guys the the points you deserve. Um, you guys you guys chipped a lot for us, so we appreciate that. Um, exclamation point merch. Check it out if you haven't already. Yeah, check out the merch. Send me uh pics on Twitter, on Instagram, Facebook. I don't care. You're, you're, LinkedIn. We'll post them. Oh, yep, yep. Uh, we did not forget about predictions. Zach is supervising right now, and mm. the arena got really busy, so Zach had to go do that. Uh, so we didn't forget. Um, Zach was Zach was just working, so we can't blame Zach on that. Uh, but yes, yeah, send send us your pictures if you bought merch. Um, I've been getting a ton of emails about you guys buying it, so I really appreciate that. That's really awesome to see. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you next time.